everyone, it's Kelly, and I'm here with my very first peacock ornament that I made for my challenge. And as you can see, there's glitter all over the place here, and I was unable to get it cleaned up before I filmed this video because it's actually sticking to everything. But I'm going to go ahead and show you my ornament. So here's the first ornament that I created. It's super cute. I really like how it came out. And this is what it looks like on the front. And it's not too it's not too pretty on the back. It just looks like that on the back. And you'll see the shapes of the petals are not all the same, but it's okay because um, this is how it looks on the front. And I'm gonna hang I'm gonna figure out a way to hang a maybe a hook or something. But that's what that looks like. I'm not gonna make to go through the step by step process of how I made it and what I used. So you're going to need paper towel rolls and I cut them in about a half to three quarter inches wide so you'll need some of those and let me put, go down here a little bit and then I used I had a peacock stamp that I had gotten last year for Christmas and I made a ton of these leaves you guys probably saw them last year so I just duplicated them and I made some more. Um, so I used that. I used some of the Creatology glitter. And then I used some black acrylic paint. I used some MB Treasurista goodies. I used um, a rosette. And then I used some of these uh, baubles from these gems from MB Treasurista and an acrylic floral center and some Elmer's glue, some hot glue and some flowers. So how I started was first of all stamp out your peacock feathers. If you have your own feathers you can use those. I wanted to use the actual peacock feathers so I stamped those out and as you can see here, after I stamped it, I went over it with stickles in purple and green. And then there's blue underneath here, but you can't really see it. And then I added gems to make it sparkle, little sticky gems from Recollections. And then a blue gem. I Copic colored part of the eye of the, the leaf. And that's how they turned out. And then I cut them out sort of a feathery fashion and then I actually put glue on them to um, stiffen them up so that they don't um, get loose. So then how I created the actual ornament, let me put that down here, was I took do that as you can see I went around the front. I do have to probably do it again here a little bit because I see the glitter is coming off but I did want to make sure to get all the the crevices and as you can see it, it worked out pretty well because it just got really really sparkly and and glittery in between and I'll probably go over it with a little Mod Podge see there's a spot that was a little bare so I'll probably go over that just a little bit but I like how it turned out I wanted this to be really really sparkly and glittery because I love glitter so after I did that, then I went looking for my little stamped leaves. And again, you could use a regular leaf feather. I used these stamped ones. I added it to the top. And then I layered these um, Prima flowers underneath. I used a light blue and a dark blue. And then I put the rosette um, on top to see how I wanted to place that. Before I put the rosette on, before I actually glued it on, I found these two gems that I wanted to use. There's a, a light blue here. I hope you can see the color. Okay. There's a light blue one here and then a crystal one here. And I just adhered them with a little bit of wire and then I hot glued the wire underneath the rosette before I added it down and it just kind of um, dangles. 
So after I placed the rosette, I found this purple acrylic flower, and I thought this would be absolutely perfect for on top of that, just to give it that added kind of pop. So it's very, very, very blingy and glittery, and I'm sure this isn't everybody's style, but it's definitely mine. So I'm really, really happy with this ornament, and I, I mean, I could have went out and bought ornaments at the dollar store or something, but I just think it's going to be more fun to repurpose and make some myself. So this is the very first ornament in my um, peacock ornament challenge slash um, homemade Christmas ornament videos. So I hope that you guys like it. Comment below. And I can't wait to see some of your projects as well. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to be giving away a prize. And I'm going to do a peacock ornament series. And I'm going to have some um, prizes for the winner. So I'll have the link below for that. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.